to Baby Einstein in July. I'm your host, Thomas Donegan. Now, what is Baby Einstein in July? Well, before I answer that, let me tell you what Baby Einstein is. Baby Einstein is a direct-to-DVD series meant to stimulate children from one month to six years with music, words, arts, nature, animals, you name it. It's not every day that a franchise would introduce children to the world around them, but Baby Einstein was one of the few that did. Now, I loved watching these movies as a boy, and I still love watching them today. Well, at least most of their movies, but we'll talk about that some other time. Now, Baby Einstein July is a series where I review those movies as well as some other parts of their franchise. Now, what better place to start off this July than a, one of my favorites, Baby Bach Musical Adventure. See, here's the Baby Bach Musical Adventure uh, cover. Uh, it's for children 1 to 36 months. It has visual, musical, and language experiences to stimulate and delight your baby. And it features the music of Johann Sebastian Bach. That's why it's called Baby Bach. And here's a picture of Baby Bach. Uh, Baby Bach is an orange rabbit with pink ears and a green bow tie with stripes. And he's uh, playing a piano and there are purple music notes in the background. It's a very cute picture too. Uh, I love watching rabbits across, run around my yard. Now, there are lots of different versions of Baby Bach, but the version we're going to be looking at is the 2000 version. So, without further ado, let's start off this Baby Einstein in July episode with a bang. I'm Thomas Donegan, and this is Baby Einstein in July. Here's a logo that you 2000s people might recognize. It's the Family Home Entertainment logo now known as Lionsgate. We begin with an orchestra tune-up as the warning screen appears because you can't have a home media release without an FBI warning and the orchestra has to warm up so they can be ready to play the music. The conductor just tapped the podium and we're ready to start the movie. What was that? Chickens! Marching chickens going by. They're going, Bach, 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 Bach! That's funny. The Baby Einstein Company presents... B. H. A. B. B. C. Y. A. Baby Bach. That song we just heard was the Toccata and Fugue in D minor. I don't know what that is, but it's chiming and spinning around and around. Must be some sort of mobile. Here's the song of the first segment. Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 in D Major, 3rd Movement, by Johann Sebastian Bach. Now, all the songs in this movie are by Johann Sebastian Bach. Keep that in mind as we go. And sometimes classical music song titles can be a mouthful to say, so I'll try to say them in a very simple way. Look at these balls go! They're going up the small steps, through the funnel, down the chute, and then back up again. Wow, that looks like fun! The Machine Ball Factory is the toy's name. There's a green ball, a pink ball, and I... Oh, 
word red ball. Ooh. That here that toy is the Cosmos Kinetic with a red sphere in the middle. Many baby Einstein movies, including this one, have kin kinetic toys in the music segments. And here's another kinetic toy, the Jupiter Kinetic. Look at it go. And we're back to the cosmos, but we're a little closer to the sphere. So far, we're off to a good start. Now we're transiting to a fire truck. A very noisy fire truck. This is a toy fire truck, not a real fire truck. Fire trucks help us stay safe. This little girl is shaking some sort of instrument. It appears to be a rattle or something. This instrument is a piano. That's the instrument Baby Bach plays. Is someone singing? Ooh, looks like some sort of dragon puppet. You know, Baby Einstein has a dragon puppet of their own, but he doesn't appear in this movie. Oh, I've seen something like this. It's a drum that looks like a lollipop, and it's making the sound of a steel drum. A lollipop drum. Look! A piece of cheese! There's a mouse inside. Hey, where did the mouse go? Oh, there it is. Cute little rascal. Mice do love cheese. This instrument is a xylophone. Hear how chiming the sound is? Here's the little girl. And she's playing peekaboo. How cute. Oh, this is a very well-known song. It's Jesu, Joy of Man's Desiring from Heart, Mouth, Deed, and Life. One of the most soothing songs in the movie. Most of the music in Baby Bach is relaxing and soothing. That's a top spinning around and around. That's a smiling sun pendulum. It's moving left to right and right to left. The sun is up in the sky and it shines and makes a beautiful day, especially in July. <laughs> and now we're back to the top. It's, and now it appears to be moving or losing its balance. No, excuse me. Tops don't lose balance. They do that when they're about to be done spinning. Now we're seeing a bear blowing bubbles. And there are bubbles in the background as well. Kids like to blow bubbles, and they love toys that make bubbles for them. Bear is blowing bubbles the old-fashioned way. By the way, Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring is one of my favorite songs in Baby Bach. And now we're come to the point where the top is done spinning. You know, the Takata and Fugue, the Brandenburg Concertos, and Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring are just three of Johann Sebastian Bach's best songs. And the rest of the best are under away. Good spinning, top. See you later. Hey, there's one balloon! Oh, now there's two balloons! I mean three balloons! No wait, there's four balloons! Make that five balloons! Five colorful balloons blowing away! Boy, it sure is cold out here! A perfect time for sledding, just like these kids in this toy are doing. They're all sledding to Brandenburg Concerto No. 4 in G Major, First Movement. Another one of my favorite songs in Baby Bach. All the toys in this music segment are winter-themed toys. The music itself sounds like people are having a great time out in the snow. These three bears dressed in winter clothes are playing music. 
They are the Wonderland Bear Band. It looks like they're playing this song, Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 4, but they really aren't. One bear is playing a tuba, one is playing a trombone, and one is playing a saxophone. These people are skating on the ice. Skating is another activity people like to do in the snow. Look at them go! Skating, sledding, and skiing are fun winter activities. <laughs> that boy hanging onto his sister is like, Whoa! Whoa! This is fun! Now we're back to the sledding kids. By the way, the sledding hill and the skating people are made by the same manufacturer, Department 56. Now we're back to the skating people. There's a total of five of these skaters. There were two of the sledding kids. And we're back to the Wonderland Bear Band as the winter segment comes to an end. Hey, there's a robot. And there's another robot. Here are both of the robots together. Now they're walking along to Sleepers Awake, a classical music song that isn't heard very much. There was even an excerpt from Toccata and Fugue in the beginning of the segment. Going back to Sleepers Awake, this song wasn't even put on the Baby Bach CD. They just had it in the Baby Bach movie. And they never used it in other Baby Einstein media ever since. Usually a Baby Einstein CD features songs that weren't put on the movie either to save running time, or maybe they just didn't have a full perfect fit to have a music segment. Looks like these robots are playing Follow the Leader. I almost forgot. There was also a robot that goes on wheels. And here it is again. Our main focus is those two robots. They look like best friends. Now it's time for another instrument montage. Now the little girl is playing a giraffe horn. It's called that because it has spots, like a giraffe. Here's a giraffe horn the little girl played, another horn, and a trumpet. Ah, listen to those drum beats. And those bubbly sounds. Oh, that's an octopus, a silly octopus puppet. The octopus is moving its eight arms. That's why it's called an octopus. Oct means eight. So long, octopus! That instrument is a saxophone. Saxophones are mostly played in a jazz concert. Oh yeah! What's that? Aw, a cute little baby giraffe puppet with a cute laugh. Here's a horn with a yellow bird sitting on it, and a kazoo. This little girl is back to end the instrument montage with another peekaboo! <laughs> this hand is putting pennies into the truck, one penny at a time. Clink! Clink! Here's the last penny. And now the truck is taking them to the bank or orphanage or something. Oh, dig this music segment! One of the best music segments in the movie. It features a song, Brandenburg Concerto No. 2 in F Major, 3rd Movement. The visual we're looking at is a plasma ball. Let's take a closer look at it. This is what the plasma ball is like when you put your finger on it. It follows your finger through. 
I have a plasma ball like that. Like... Ooh, here's another kinetic mobile toy. The Blurs. This kinetic toy would be featured in other Baby Einstein movies, but with different styles. This one is silver. Well, I've seen something like this before. It's a disco ball. A disco ball with flashing colors, and looks even more cooler than an ordinary disco ball. This is what it's like close up. I don't know what that is, but it sure looks pretty. While it's rolling along, I would like to give a shout out to my YouTube friend, Chase Ace 5127 2.0. I understand that Brandon Burke and Sheraton number two is your favorite baby box song, and I agree that it's one of the best. Now we're back to the plasma ball, and we seem to be going on and off with a touching. I mean, it's glowing light blue, and black when not being touched. Now we have another close-up of the plasma ball, starting right now. To me, it looks like a spider with dozens and dozens of legs. Pretty. Now we're back to the blurs again, but now we're rising up to see what the toy looks like on top. And we're rising and rising and rising until we no longer see the blurs and we're transitioning to a mother marching chicken. One of the marching chickens seen before the baby box title screen. She's marching until she faces straight into the viewer, just like that. I don't know. Why? <laughs> I guess they must have clucked to the wrong composer. <laughs> this song is called Sonata for Flute and Keyboard in E flat major third movement. Most of the toys in this segment are animal toys. Right now, we're seeing a cat that likes to roll. It's called the Dizzy Kitty. It's rolling and it's spinning around and around and around. The cat is moving so fast, it's making me dizzy to even see it go by. Whoa! Bye, cat! Oh, look at the pretty fish. There's a blue fish a yellow fish, and a pink fish. They like to swim together. Glug, 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 glug. I love watching fish in the fish tank. Oh, here's the marching chicken from before, and she's with a sunflower. Hey, the sunflower has a face. It must be a singing sunflower. Marching chicken and a singing sunflower sounds like a noisy combination of toys in the same room. Bok, 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 bok. <laughs> that never gets old. Look at that silly giraffe toy. It's called GG Giraffe. She's walking and bending her long neck. Her final bend is in slow motion as the music segment comes to an end. Oh yeah! The minuet in G major from the Anna Magdalena Notebooks. How can we ever think about Johann Sebastian Bach without his most popular song he's ever written? By the way, those visuals right here are Green Dreamers. At least that's what the program guide said. Minuet in G is another one of my favorite songs in Baby Bach. But my most favorite is coming up in just a few minutes. Oh, this is a pop-up farm toy. First there is a dog. Some dogs live on farms. That's a cow. Cows give us milk. That's a horse. 
Horses like to run. That's a chick. Chicks hatch from eggs. And here's a farmer. A farm just isn't complete without a farmer. Time for yet another instrument montage. The little girl is playing the bongo drums. This instrument is a harp. A melody harp. Beautiful sound, isn't it? What's that? Ooh, it's a baby dinosaur waking up and coming out of an egg. <sighs> All dinosaurs were born inside eggs. This instrument is an accordion. Very nice rhythm. What's that? Oh, it's an owl. An owl that can turn its head around. This instrument is a guitar. Guitars are played solo, or with a piano, or in a rock and roll band. Bravo! Bravo! The little girl is clapping with the audience and wearing sunglasses. Groovy. Oh, here it is. This is my favorite Baby box song. It's Orchestral Suite Number 3 in D Major, aka Air on the G String. The main reason why this is my favorite song in Baby Bach is because it's the most soothing and relaxing, and it makes me feel dreamy. In case you don't know what this visual is, it's a lava lamp. I have a lava lamp like that, but it's a different color. Ooh, hey, it's a disco ball from the Brandenburg Concerto No. 2 segment. Hmm. I wonder how they made that shot with its close-up and moving it by. Sounds like, chal sounds like very challenging to do that kind of shot. Now we're back to the lava lamp. The lava is a pretty purple. And now it's time for another one of my favorite segments in Baby Bach. Goldberg Suite. The orchestra is tuning up again for some reason. There's two pictures of Baby Bach the rabbit. And here's two pictures of clowns that we will see later in this segment. <laughs> Right now it's time for Goldberg Suite number one, and we're seeing a merry-go-round. I remember riding on a big merry-go-round, but it only stayed for a little while. Hey, a Ferris wheel! I like that! First a merry-go-round, and then a Ferris wheel. Those things can be found at carnivals and theme parks. I wonder what the next visual was going to be. Looks like some sort of clock. It appears to be a magic show clock from what I can see. Tick tock, tick tock. Hey, it's the sun pendulum from the Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring segment. Put it in a light segment. Or a light shot. It's, and it's with Gigi the Giraffe from the Sonata for Flute and Keyboard in that segment. Oh, that's a silly dog toy. The dog is standing, now it's running, and now it's sitting, and it's barking, and whoa! It jumped, and it jumped in the air! And we're back to the Ferris wheel again. It's going slower and slower and slower, and it's stopped. I like riding on Ferris wheels, too, at the carnival. Hey, it's the clowns. One's playing the maracas, and the other is playing the drum. Here's another pop-up toy. With a lion, an elephant, a bear, and a dog. 
kind of a misfit because dogs are pets and the others are wild animals. This toy is the Hoberman Spear. I think I've seen something like this before, but it's more colorful than this one. I almost forgot to mention the song that's playing. It's Goldberg Suite Number 4. Another one of the many soothing songs in Baby Bach. To me, the music that sounds most soothing in Baby Bach is the best in Baby Bach. Oh, here's the mobile from before. I now I know what it is. It's the Winkle Mobile before the Brandon Burke and Sheraton Number Five segment. The Marching Chickens are back. Bok, 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 <laughs> I said it before, I'll say it again, that never gets old. This next song is Goldberg Suite number 30. This hand is drawing a big U, and it's drawing a nose, and a mouth that looks like the Amazon.com logo, and dots for eyes, and circles around the eyes, lines on each side of the circles. Looks like the drawing is wearing glasses. Now a letter C for the ear, and a mirrored letter C for the other ear. And then some lines for the hair. And when you put them all together, you get voila! A happy face. Here's the happy face toy right now. It's called Who's It? I remember seeing a Who's It toy before in stores. I think I've had one at home. It's got big yellow eyes, a really big nose, and a pink mouth. And it's got it's blue with white stars in the background. Good dancing, Who's It! Bye bye! Here's the Baby Bop Rabbit Twins with the clowns again and with the sound of applause. I agree. Sounds like everyone loved it. Now it's time for the grand finale. Here's the streamers from the Minuet in G segment. The song for the finale is Cannons on the Goldberg Ground. Here's the little girl f that began and ended the instrument montages. She's taking off her sunglasses and getting ready to dance to the music. As a matter of fact, she's dancing right now and sticking out her tongue. Here's the Machine Ball Factory from the Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 segment. This time there are four balls instead of three. I guess Baby Einstein must have missed a ball when they filmed the Brandenburg Concerto No. 5 segment. Here's the girl who told a chicken joke, and she too is dancing to the music. See, she's turning around like a ballerina. Now she's telling another joke, except we never hear what she's saying because of the music. Here's the Lava Lamp from the Air on the G-String segment, my favorite Baby Box song. Here's the Plasma Ball from the Brandenburg Concerto No. 2 segment, JSA's 5127 2.0's favorite Baby Box song. Now it's both the Big Girl and the Little Girl together, dancing to Cannons on the Goldberg Ground. That's very nice dancing. Here's the ice skaters from the Brandenburg Concerto No. 4 segment. And here's the sledding kids, also from the Brandenburg Concerto No. 4 segment. Except we get an even closer view. Look at those girls go. They must really like this song. Here's the bubble blowing bear from the Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring segment. I love blowing bubbles as a kid. Now the girls are done dancing and giving each other a big hug for doing such a great job. How nice. Here's the big girl again. I, <laughs> I don't know what that means, but someday you will be a real star. Well, maybe. And now we get to the end credits. The song for the end credits is 
What else? Minuet in G. I guess because it's Johann Sebastian Bach's most popular song. I love Minuet in G. Copyright 1999, even though it is a 2000 reissue. Here comes a car. That's Car Talk for Thanks for Watching! Once again, we got the Family Home Entertainment logo. And we're done! Well, Baby Einstein fans, that was Baby Bach Musical Adventure. And it was awesome! It features some of Johann Sebastian Bach's best songs, and they were all perfect selections. The Minuet in G, uh, the Brandenburg Concertos, Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, Goldberg Suite, and even Air on the G String. The visuals were great as well. The Marching Chickens, the Machine Ball Factory, the Plasma Ball, the, the Walking Robots, the Balloons, the Plasma Ball, the Disco Ball, the Lava Lamp. <laughs> I don't even know what else to name right now. I highly, I love every second of it, and I still watch it when I get the chance. It's, it's perfect. It's one of the Baby Einstein movies I like to call perfect. So yeah, Baby Bach Musical Adventure is indeed one of my favorites. But Baby Einstein in July series is just getting started. Tune in next time while I look at a movie that is similar to Baby Bach, but with a different composer who has well-known music of his own. That's it for Baby Einstein in July. This is Thomas Donegan saying, bye for now!